What's going on guys? It's your boy Pistol Pete. Today we're doing something a little different. Um, not a live commentary, but gonna be showing you guys some tips, sharing rather, some tips that I found playing Fighter Squadron and Star Wars Battlefront in general. Um, so for uh, most of my time spent playing this game, I've been playing Fighter Squadron and just been trying to figure the game mode out. But what I've found in the game is that you can rank up pretty fast in this game mode. If you're just starting the game, it's probably your best bet if you want to rank fast. Um, because say you're level 1, you don't have any of the good weapons or you know star cards or any of that. So you want to rank up fast to get that stuff. So Fighter Squadron, you know, that's what I like about it. You can go straight in and you don't need anything. You just The ships are provided for you, the power-ups are provided for you, and everything. So right off the bat here you can see we got the Slave 1 ship which is a power up. Um, the equivalent on the Rebel side is the Millennium Falcon of course, which I prefer personally. But um, this game mode is great because you can get a lot of EXP just uh, shooting. Not even, you know, you don't even have to kill the, uh, the aircraft, you can just shoot them. As you can see here when I hit the Millennium Falcon, that's all points right there and experience so that's my first tip for you guys is straight off the bat uh, I don't think the power up spawns right away in the map but in the beginning of the match what I recommend you do is you know lay low on the map for a while and go ahead and try to find either the Millennium Falcon or the slave depending on which side you are on so once you get that just go around you know and just kill basically so as you see the power ups on the bottom right you have uh, two rockets basically and you have a radar jammer. Now the radar jammer is very useful when you have someone locked onto you or a missile you just press that radar jammer and it'll uh, unlock right away. So yeah that's step number one you get either the slave or millennium falcon and then just go to town you know kill everything and anything but what I recommend is since there is AI and also real players in squad, uh, fighter squadron I recommend going for the real players so once you uh, lay your mouse or your uh, cursor over the enemy it will either show nothing or it will show a game attack and that's how you determine if it is AI or an enemy so I recommend going for the enemies because you get more points uh, I'm not sure how many more exactly, <laughs> as you see there, we both killed each other, that was pretty epic, but <laughs> uh, not sure how much points you get, but I know you get more points than when you kill AI, so go ahead and just try to kill enemies, uh, you get your team more points as well, and you get more uh, XP as well. So yeah, I recommend just repeating this cycle if you're trying to get the most EXP. Once you die as a ship, I, I think it respawns almost right away. So just keep looking for it while you uh, while you kill you know other ships. And anytime you get those cargo ships or those transport ships that you have to shoot down, go shoot them down because those things have a lot of health most of the time, especially Millennium Falcons and Slaves. Always try to kill those because just for shooting them, you get a lot of points. So just do that. And as you see right here, we get the Slave once again now if you do it correctly you can last as either the slave or the millennium falcon the whole game that's right um once you get the power up you just you have to do it correctly where the power ups on the bottom there's some that regenerate your vehicle's health and there's some that uh restore or uh speed up your cooldown time for your star cards so always, always, once your health is even getting kind of low, always try to regenerate your health with those power-ups on the floor. And as you see, I'm trying to find someone here with a gamer tag so I could take him out because it's more points. And I think the slave is a lot more powerful than the ships, obviously, so they're pretty, fairly easy to take out other enemy ships. Um, but that's what I recommend, you know, going after Millennium Falcon or the slave and just trying to you know kill those transport ships kill the other uh, enemy big ship whether it be Millennium Falcon or Slave and then at the end you will just get a ton of XP um let's see what else is some tips I can try to give you guys let's see 
So as you see here, I'm just going to town with this thing. It's really awesome. Um, oh, yes, one more tip. So when I first started playing Fighter Squadron, I did not even know that such a thing existed as the uh, throttle of the ship, as you see on the bottom there, above the health. You can see your, um, your fire cooldown and also the throttle of the ship. Now, most of the time, you should not, as you see, I'm decreasing the throttle right there, you can tell at the bottom to pick up that power up, which is another small tip I can give you. Once you're going for power ups, decrease your throttle all the way just to avoid crashing, because I've done it and it makes you look dumb. <laughs> so yeah, um, your throttle should not be at maximum, unless you know, you're trying to find someone or you're chasing someone that's getting away fairly quickly, but most of the time, to get the most accurate shot, uh, did I just say accurate? I sound like DJ Khaled now. Okay, accurate shot. <laughs> to get the most accurate shot, you want to slow your throttle down, uh, either halfway or even less than halfway. Therefore, you have a better aim and you're not moving so fast that your bullets are, you know, flying before you can aim. So, it's really, really simple actually. If you think about it, you just, you, it does everything for you. You just right click, you lock on, and you shoot. And I mean, it's a blast. This game is fun. It's, you know, it's not very competitive, but that's what I found the most. I'm sure there's other ways to rank up fast, but this is mostly for when you just get the game, you know, you rank one, you don't really have any weapons or gear or anything like that. So you're just trying to rank up, jump right into Fighter Squadron, uh, do, the, do the tips that I've told you, and you will, you know, you'll do good. As you see, there's another Millennium Falcon right there, and I'm just getting so many points from hitting this thing. And he got me right there with that evasive maneuver. So, that's what I recommend right there. See, my health is pretty low, but if you're getting hit, your health will not automatically regenerate all the way up. But still, go for those power-ups. People are always going to try to kill you because you have... You know, if it's either the Slave or the Millennium Falcon, people are always going to go after you. Because of uh, the aforementioned points I was talking about. And just try to, you know, use the tips, use the start cards right there, the Radar Jammer, or if it's the Millennium Falcon. I forgot what it's, um, you know, maneuver is. But that's it. Um, as you see here, we came in first place with a score of 4280. I don't think it shows the total score, but I think it came up to 5000, so... I mean, that's pretty good EXP for, you know, 8 minutes worth of gameplay. So I recommend you guys to do everything I talked about here and you'll rank up really fast. So thank you so much for watching. For more Star Wars videos and other games, subscribe, hit like, comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Peace.